So my name is Christian Benefiel and I'm here today fitting up a remanufactured rudder shoe for Winnie. Uh, the original shoe that's here on the ground may be original. It's definitely been either built or rebuilt uh, you know, a long time ago. It's exceeded its usable lifespan. Just looking at it, you can see that it's been you know, welded together in a couple different places. So there's also, you know, it's, it's entirely possible that this may have been made, remade, rebuilt different welding processes, different types of metal and things like that that went in there. The one that we have uh, rebuilt here is all uh, 316 uh, grade stainless steel. That's going to be a, a much more corrosion resistant uh, steel, very common in the marine industry. Um, <clears throat> and it's all made from more or less single parts. So there's going to be like less likelihood for it to, uh, you know, sort of fail, warp or twist. Uh, as you know, it goes into place on the boat. It's gonna be a lot more rigid. Uh, the what we're here today working on is fitting it up, making sure that the drawing set that I got from the museum um, when we first started on it is gonna be accurate to how everything is situated. When we got um, when we started this project, we weren't really sure. Uh, the rudder wasn't in place. The keel uh, hadn't been uh, rebuilt, and so. Now that all this stuff is here, the prop is on, we've got the part down here, and we're just taking some measurements to make sure that everything's going to work uh, and fit correctly before we go and, and hard weld everything out. Uh, if you look at the pieces here, you can see there's, it's a lot of metal with these little tiny uh, welds that are on there, which are called tacks. Tack welding is uh, a process in fabrication where you put uh, little tiny welds in there to basically fit everything up to the right shape. Uh, before putting it together and that has a couple advantages. Uh, the main one is is that it um, is easy to take apart if something is incorrect. Uh, it also makes it so that your entire structure is sort of locked into form um, and is less likely to change its shape while you're doing the actual structural welding on it. We're checking today to make sure that we have clearance from the uh, shaft back to uh, the you know aft end of the keel of the boat and also to make sure that we have clearance in here for the propeller uh, when it's spinning um, so that it obviously doesn't like drive into the uh, uh, rudder shoe uh, that's able to stay stable. The other thing that we're looking at originally this um, this shoe had a compression post or a strutter uh, some kind of element that was here that tied this post up into the bottom of the hull of the boat which is basically like a preventative measure to make sure that if the boat was to run aground or come afoul of something here that it did not uh, bend and drive the rudder shaft up into uh, the inner workings of the boat and basically give it a little bit more strength and durability. Uh, we've been working with the team here as well to sort of figure out a um, method to accommodate a similar structure. This one here you can see had this hole in, cut through the center of it which would make it so that the prop shaft was able to be pulled off of the back of the boat without removing the shoe and the post and all that other stuff. Uh, we're going to make a removable um, compression post for it. So that was the other thing we were here doing is trying to figure out what the spacing needs to be from the uh, forward edge of this rudder uh, so that that post can be uh, installed and removed without taking other components off of the boat, making it easier to service. Uh, and uh, yeah, we think it's pretty good design we've settled on, so now it'll go back to the shop. Uh, and get hard welded out and uh, bring it back out here and put it on. I like working on these types of projects uh, for two reasons. One, like I just have a uh, really support the projects that go on here. A lot of times an adaptive process where, you know, we're doing what we're doing today. You know, it's not just a, here's the drawing, make it manufacture, we come down and we make sure that everything's going to fit. We have to make modifications on the fly and so uh, being able to work with a team with the amount of experience that uh, is here and also just sort of a like general can-do attitude is like really great um, and I mean this is cool like there's no denying it like it's a cool thing to uh, be involved with so uh, yeah I'm really I'm always happy to come down and be part of all these types of projects. <laughs>